lovelies. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. I am so excited to have you all here with me. I am going to make sure that my everything is working tonight. I called Canon. I tried to get some help with my camera and tried to get my microphone all set in place. So I'm hoping that tonight for Merry Monday, you can see me and hear me well because I am excited to hang out with you. Now, if we haven't met, my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist and here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real. Real honest, real relatable and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. So tonight I'm here, we're all spa ready. I have a candle going, I've got my spa robe, I've got the headband in place, I have a naked face and we are here to go. And thank you, Stephen, <laughs> for letting me know. Stephen's here with the thumbs up, letting me know that everything is set. Oh, Eden, you were able to make it. I don't know if that means that you're getting out of work early. I'm excited for you if that's the case. So tonight, again, we are here to just have a little skincare moment. I'm hoping that you have some time to sit down and do your nighttime skin skincare routine with me. And I'm going to be answering a few questions. I did reach out on social media and asked if anybody had any Q&A. Well, Q for me, not the A. I have the A, you have the Q. That's how this goes. I'm new to this whole thing. <laughs> so uh, Henry, I see that you asked a question here. I'm assuming that's one to add in. So I will make sure to answer that as well. And again, if you have any questions, please feel free to pop them into the chat. I will try to take care of those and uh, we will answer those as we go. So I'm obviously here, naked faced for you. I did already wash my face. Uh, I wasn't sure how to go about how to go about that part of the whole thing. Uh, the cleansing part could be a little issue. I was like, do I set up a live in my bathroom? That could be a little sketch, you know? That could be a little sketch. We're not here on OnlyFans, <laughs> we're here on YouTube. So I wanted to make sure to come cleanse. So we're gonna talk a little bit about my normal cleansing routine. So right now I am finishing up, uh, I've talked about this in Favorites before, and I'm finishing up the Inky List Vulvic Acid Brightening Cleanser. So I will be honest, this for me is going to be uh, more of that like spring summer cleanser because this baby is, it's not drying out my skin, but it's not doing my skin any favors this time of year. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, I just want to give you a little background on my skin. So first of all, I turned 40 this year and I would say that I have normal to dry skin, uh, drier in the winter time for sure. And then I also have sensitive like slightly sensitive, but acne prone skin on occasion. Uh, yeah. So that is, that is the thing. I have wrinkles and pimples. Aren't I lucky? So as I go into the winter months, like a lot of us, I have to change up my skincare wardrobe. And for me, that's going to be getting rid of this one. But here is the thing. <sighs> Here's the thing. Like this baby is so close to being done. If I had like half a bottle I would put this away until the spring, but I, I just have like this little bit. So I am bound and determined to get this baby into my empties video. So this is the one that I've been enjoying, but I'm going to switch it up into the winter. Uh, <laughs> oh, Eden, I'm sorry. You're still working. Well, thank you for hopping in. I really appreciate that. Uh, yeah. So uh, I did actually, Stephen, I did bring in a bowl of water because I'm going to be doing a mask and I have a bowl of water here. I mean, what could happen? We have expensive electronics. We have a vanity that is way too covered in things and a bowl of water. No, nothing's going to go wrong here. <laughs> so if for some reason, all of a sudden I cut off, uh, it's probably because I electrocuted myself. No big deal. It's what we do. It's what we do for the YouTube. Uh, then what I wanted to talk to you guys about is I'm going to be switching it up uh, for cleanser for into the winter. Now, one cleanser that I really enjoy and love is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cleanser. This is an all time like must have for me. So I love this one, but I've, I've used this one so many times. So I really wanna try something a little new. I do also have, by the way, I don't know where I put it. Oh, I also really enjoy the Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach kale and green tea spinach vitamins. Yeah, that's right. The superfood cleanser. And this is another one that I can get by with going into the winter, but I have two of which I have not tried either of them. So I really want to try one of these going into the fall and winter. So you guys will have to let me know if one of these is something that you want to hear about. So I have the milk 
uh, vegan milk cleanser. And then I also have the Holly Frog Tashmu Water Lily Nourishing Milky Wash. What happened to the days where cleanser was just like cleanser? And you maybe had like two words before cleanser and now there's like 75 words. I, I just cannot. Uh, <laughs> so let me know which one of those you think I should try in case you're curious about one or if there's one that you really love. So I just wanna take a moment before we get into all of this to say hi to everybody as we're hopping on in. Hello, hello everyone. Thank you so much for coming on in. Oh, where did I see that? Uh, yes. So, yeah, you know, I mean, Tori, if this whole like YouTube thing doesn't work out for me, I could, I could start a face washing only fans, may, maybe down the road. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, so I did, I did turn 40. I turned 40 in September. So we can have a, we can have a, a forties party now. I would love that. That would be, <laughs> that would be really great. How did I fit? How did I fit what into my room? A bowl? How did I fit a bowl into my room? Steven, I'm confused. Uh, Liz, which one of these is your favorite? This one? The You to the People? I feel like we've maybe talked about this one before. I need all the details. So Liz is kind of like my skincare go-to because I know she does a deep dive into skincare. So I love that. Uh, I would say I'm definitely, I feel like compared to most people, I am quite knowledgeable when it comes to skincare, but I'm still like, I love the science of it all, but man, I feel like in the last five years, skincare has gotten just crazy. So I'm, I'm definitely still needing to brush up. Yeah. The used to the people one. Okay. So these, one of these will be the ones that I am going to like move into for the winter. Something that, see, the thing is, is I still like something that cleanses most of my makeup off. I do enjoy a double cleanse, but I need something that like still, still gives me most of that cleansing off. Like I, I want something that makes me feel clean, but not squeaky. <laughs> oh yeah. The bowl on my vanity. Uh, it's on the floor at the moment. Well, we're going to see how this goes. So I'm going to slowly move these things as I, as I talk about them or else we're going to come into some real trouble people. Okay. So I have gone ahead and cleansed with that fulvic acid cleanser. So normally at night, what I will do is if I'm going to do a double cleanse, I'll start off with an oil-based cleanser. I did not do that tonight. Um, but what I would normally use is right now I am, I'm still cranking through this green clean. I am like, <sighs> I have like, I have like maybe a third of a jar and I am bound and determined to use this one up. I like this. Okay. It is fine. But I do find that it, it gives me that like milky feel on my eyeballs, you know, like where your eyeballs get a little cloudy. I don't love that so much. So I'm going to use this one up. Um, and especially for the price, I think I'm going to like tiptoe into some other water sometimes to a cleansing balm. I do also have the one size makeup melt off. I think it's called go off that spray that I, that I just use on my eyes. Like if I'm using like Danessa Myricks or something where I need to get some of it off that one, I won't reuse just because it's so fragranced. Oh, here it is. I did bring it in here. So this one, I still have like half a can, so I'm trying to get through that. One of my favorite uh, first cleanse products is the pre-cleanse from Dermalogica. This is just a little guy. It normally comes in like a pump, but I love this one. It's a like liquidy oil-based pre-cleanse. I really do enjoy this. I also have one coming up in a video on Thursday that I've been trying recently uh, that I really enjoy. So stay tuned for that, but I definitely will, will be looking for some new like first cleanse options, but I just, I just need to get through this. I have to use it up. Oh, we've got some, we've, that's okay. We've got people that are in the forties club. We have people coming into the forties club. I love it. We'll all, we can all just like celebrate each other. Forties is the new fantastic. And I am here for it. I am excited for my forties. I'm going to rock it. So, uh, and I'm excited. Oh, Liz, in January, you're turning 40. That is coming soon. We will definitely have to do a little celebration. Okay, so Liz, you just started using the Jordan Samuel. Ooh, okay. We'll have to chat later about that one. Uh, and I know that Steven's favorite is the Drunk Elephant one. I have not tried that one. I might, I bet that, no, I think Sephora isn't doing like scoopable samples. They're only doing pumpable samples right now. See, that is the thing. Uh, Amore Pacific as well. All right, so we're getting some great suggestions here in the chat. And I love this. Like, again, this is kind of why I wanted to do these Merry Mondays. 
it was really more for us all to sort of get a chance to hang out for an hour or so. And that's really for me with this whole like vlogmas, um, I guess like the vlogmas routine or the vlogmas culture that I was just shying away from. So I really just wanted maybe once a week where we could sit down together, hang out, chat about all the things beauty and, you know, really just have like a social moment. So thank you to all of you for hopping on tonight. It always means so much to me, especially when we get a chance to talk together. Okay. So uh, since I did not do a pre-cleanse, I do want to just go through with like a second little mini cleanse. So I'm going to go through with the Cogendo Cleansing Spa Water, just in case I still have some eye makeup on. So this is obviously a, um, like micellar water. So I got this because of my friend Jennifer from All Feisty. She really likes this one. Um, this is oil-free and mildly acidic. So when we're talking about like balancing the pH of our skin, I'm just putting it on a reusable um, bamboo cotton round here. I like this one okay. I did get it when they were buy one, get one free. So I got it at a really good discount. I just find though that this one burns my eyes a little bit. And right now my eyes are kind of extra irritated. Our house is a little bit dusty right now. Uh, Jeremy and his son are doing some renovations. It was crazy, you guys. I, uh, I was upstairs doing some filming today. I was upstairs for a couple hours and I went downstairs and all of a sudden we have like a wall. We have a wall up. <laughs> just like, oh, hey wall. Like it's so crazy. It's so crazy how that all that happens. I am just so mystified by the things that I have no idea how to do when they happen. I'm like, oh wow, you just did that. Like, obviously, if you didn't know, my fiance is a contractor. And so, you know, he knows how to build walls. So, but I was just, it's just always a miracle to me. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm just taking off any excess makeup that I didn't get off with my cleanser. And then, of course, down on my neck. Uh, and by the way, speaking of this not being an OnlyFans channel, I do have a tank top on in case we have a uh, wardrobe <laughs> malfunction with my robe. But I just love this robe. You know, we can sit here and hang out, have a little spa night together. Ooh, okay. I'm really curious. I just got a sample of some product that Beautylish sent me from this brand. So, hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to look into this one. I love this. Thank you so much for, uh, for sending recommendations my way. So, Liz, I will say that I honestly, after I use this up, I will probably go back to using the Bioderma. I prefer the Bioderma. That's what I have here um, at my vanity at all times is the Big Daddy Bioderma. Um, and that's probably what I'll go back to. I think it's actually a little less expensive when you're not getting it at buy one, get one free, but it was good to try something different. I just find that this one like stings my eyes a little bit. Oh, and by the way, um, I started listing all the products in the description of this video. I realized like 10 minutes before I was coming on that I didn't do that. So if there's anything you're curious about, eventually I'll have those listed below. Give me until the morning. Sorry about that. So now we're going to go ahead and do a mask. And I'm really excited. Uh, I, at night, like most of my skincare routine is done in the evening. I actually keep a pretty simple morning routine just because I really... <laughs> I just, I'm just not a morning person. I want to keep it pretty simple. And so I try to get all of like the powerhouse products in at night. And I think that that way you don't have to worry about products that layer well uh, under makeup either. So this is really when I like to do most of my skincare. So I tend to do a mask maybe twice a week. And my favorite type of mask is a gentle exfoliating mask. Give me all the exfoliation. I find that it really helps with skin texture. It really helps with any like hyperpigmentation that I have from previous breakouts or life. <laughs> so that's usually what I do. Other times I will use a hydrating mask, but tonight we're going to go ahead and use one that I personally feel is both uh, lightly hydrating and exfoliating. So we're going to go through with the Ule Hendrickson uh, Fat Glow Facial. So this has PHA and Nordic Birch Sap. So it's going to help gently exfoliate the skin. And then it's also going to help like brighten, illuminate. I find that this actually really helps make my skin just look softer, more plump and rested. Hey, Natalia, thank you so much for hopping in on tonight's live. It's great to see your, I, I don't see your face, but I see your little avatar and that's as close as I can get. So I love that. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and put this on and then I'm gonna start answering some of the questions. We'll let this go ahead and, you know, sit for 
10 minutes or so. And so then that way um, we'll have some time to do some Q and A. So this has like a, like a beige uh, color to it and it's like a creamy mask. So I thought this would be a good one to <laughs> try to take off on camera with a washcloth in a bowl. Uh, yeah, uh, we're, we're going to see how this goes. So anytime that I'm using an exfoliating mask, I try to avoid getting too close to my eyes, obviously. Um, I definitely, right now, I have a little bit of texture, like right under my brow. So this is a very gentle exfoliating mask. So I don't feel, I don't feel too bad getting it a little bit under the brow, but I try not to get it up under my eye. That was one thing that I found at one point is I was using too many like AHA, BHAs, getting it up too close to my under eye. So it was like exfoliating that area and making it too thin. Like I don't need to thin my skin out. We want to keep it like <laughs> supple enough to where it still looks good, right? So here's where I, I'm going to lean over here and get into my little bucket. All right. So now I am all masked up and we are going to talk a little bit about some of the questions that I got. So I see at the beginning of this video, uh, let's see, when Henry was here, Henry, I don't know if you're still here, but uh, Henry had asked if I have a dog or pets and I'm actually gonna be um, talking about that in my upcoming video tomorrow morning. Uh, we did have a wonderful, beautiful sweetheart of a dog. She did pass away uh, last December, so we are a dogless, petless family right now. Uh, do I see Jeremy and I getting another dog someday? Yes. Uh, I, which is so crazy because I never thought that I would, <laughs> that I would have a dog. Having pets was never in my like wheelhouse, but, uh, she, she was sort of part of the package when I met Jeremy and I was like, all right, I'm a dog mom now. And I just, I just fell in love. Bug was such a sweetheart. She was American Bulldog and she just had a heart of gold and you just could not help but love her. Uh, she was a hairy beast. She was a hairy beast, but she had a heart of gold. So one day when our work schedules have slowed down a little bit, I will probably get back into that dog mom life, but uh, <laughs> but not, not right now. All right. So uh, let me go ahead and we're going to start off since this is a a holiday festive little gathering. Uh, I had a question and this one was actually from Steven. Um, what is my favorite holiday treat? So I, I had to actually think about this one for a while. And yesterday, Jeremy and I were in the car and I'm like, babe, what's my favorite holiday treat? <laughs> and he kind of looked at me and I was like, I just, I just don't feel like I have one really. And he's like, no, I'm like, I just, I just tend to not eat most of those things. Um, and he's like, yeah, no, I can't think of a single thing. And I, so part of it honestly is, um, probably a little bit of an unhealthy relationship with food to where there's a bit of a fear of, uh, once I get going, I can't stop. I know that about myself. So if I start with one treat, one becomes two, two becomes three. And then like the whole holiday season is just like blown for me. And because I know that, uh, especially sugar, sugary things do not make me feel great <laughs> at all. So I really do try to avoid sugar like the plague. Um, but as someone who's really been on a health, a health journey for the last mm, seven years or so, I, I really try to avoid most of those things. But I did actually think, and, uh, I see, I see actually, I have a, I have a soul sister here in the house. So I would say that my favorite holiday treat, if I had to think of one, is a peppermint mocha. I mean, it's coffee. Hello. It's coffee, it's chocolate, and it's peppermint. Three things that I absolutely love. So if I'm going to splurge, I will get a peppermint mocha um, and then just get like half half of the amounts of all the flavorings that come in it. Um, otherwise it's just like oh, cloyingly sweet. But the other thing that I do love is eggnog, um, spiked or not spiked, <laughs> but I do really like a good eggnog. And I know that eggnog is one of those things that people either love 
or they are totally repulsed by. So I would love to know, are you like a team eggnog? So if I have eggnog, I have to have freshly grated nutmeg over the top. Like I actually have the nutmeg nuts and I like grate that baby with my microplaner. It just makes such a difference. And if you're going to have eggnog, you've got to do it the right way. You have to have it like full fat, full flavor, full everything, because that light stuff just doesn't, it just doesn't cut it. <laughs> so I guess I would say that, uh, that that's where I am with that one. Okay. I'm going to back up here because we have a couple potential, uh, dog moms here. <laughs> oh, a puppy in the spring. Oh, that would be exciting. Oh, but girl, I don't know. I don't know if I can do the puppy thing. Uh, bug was probably seven when I came into her life as her, as her second mom. And I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I can do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Natalia, I definitely, I definitely could see you being an amazing dog mom. All right. Oh, Liz loves eggnog. Oh, Eden, it's not an eggnog thing. Okay. So, uh, it's so good. Have you never had it? It's like, if you think of like a vanilla milkshake that's melted and it has like nutmeg and cinnamon and rum possibly, uh, it's, it's really good. It's really naughty, but it's really delicious. Okay. So, uh, I am going to move on to a little bit of a beauty question. So, uh, someone had asked me what my number one tip is for dry winter lips. And this was actually Mrs. Unnecessary, uh, Tammy. And I was talking to Tammy on Instagram because like my number one tip right off the bat is drink more water. Like I know that I am dehydrated when my lips start to peel because that is the first place my face skin and my lips are where my dehydration shows. <laughs> and I'm talking about like from the inside out. So hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. However, Tammy shared with me before I could even get it out that she drinks 128 ounces of water a day. So I don't think that that's her problem. I don't think that that's her problem at all. Uh, the other things that I would say is uh, like I was talking about with the whole skincare thing and not getting exfoliants too close to your orbital area. Also make sure you're not getting exfoliants too close to your lips. Like all the time when we read products and they say like, avoid, you know, the eye and mouth area because everything skincare ingredients like leach, right? Like they move a little bit. So be careful if you're using a retinol, if you're using an AHA, BHA, even like a Bacuchiol, be careful around the lip area because that can like seep in a little bit. So that could definitely cause peeling on the lips. Um, some people also have reactions to certain ingredients. So whether it's fragrance, whether it's beeswax, be careful of the lip products that you're using. Um, also like menthol, peppermint, cinnamon, <laughs> any of those things. I know that we think that it like feels cooling and amazing, but if you find that you're having a harsh time with your lip skin, those are some ingredients you might want to try filtering out. Um, so that is, that is definitely a few things that I find that help me with dry lips. Um, and honestly, you have to think like your lips are still skin. So, um, one of actually the moisturizer that I'm going to use tonight, like I slather that on my lips. I go ahead and I like go to town and I put that on my lips too. Um, and then I will go ahead and put a balm over the top of that because I think that we need to look at the ingredients that are in our balms. Are you using something that's hydrating? Are you using something that's a barrier? Like ideally, I feel like you kind of want something that has both something that's going to nourish your lips and then also like keep all that goodness inside. See, this is what I love about doing these like non makeup application times is I get to like see what's going on in the chat and talk with all of you. Otherwise, like if I'm like doing a smoky eye or something, I can't see. Oh yeah, Natalia, I bet if you didn't grow up with it, the texture alone of eggnog is, it could be kind of cringy for some people. Okay. A good humidifier. And I see two people here talking about humidifiers. Yeah. I, I should probably get a humidifier for my bedroom. Yeah. Baby, if you're watching this, he's probably not watching this. I think he's downstairs doing some work, but uh, <laughs> a humidifier is going on the list. Please, Santa. Thank you. 
All right. Yes, Natalia, I cannot, I mean, no pressure, girl, but I cannot wait. I, I'm glad that a few people here. Uh, so of course we have Front Porch Beauty. And then also, um, I'm, I'm just glad that some people are like going to start coming back into the beauty sphere. Do not worry. That wasn't me electrocuting myself. That was the thing that I just tried to talk to Canon about. And they said, hmm, that shouldn't happen. <laughs> I'm like, okay, but it does happen. And they said, no, there's nothing. There's no sort of timer on your camera. Like that shouldn't happen. So I don't know. It's a mystery. It's just a, it's just a slight intermission. All right. So Steven says Aquaphor is the best <laughs> lip remedy. Uh, yeah. So Stephen, I do think that Burt Bees has an unfragranced or like unflavored one. Um, I do like a bit of a beeswaxy feel, although the one that I like, um, which I don't actually even know if this actually has beeswax in it. Oh, it's not in here. I must have taken it to you somewhere is the um, the Nukes one, the Nukes lip balm. I like that one a lot. And I like the Bite Beauty Agave lip balm. I use the lip mask at night in my bedroom but uh, the balm is like a little bit waxy. I actually really like that one too, but I want something more hydrating underneath it. Oh, okay. Hold on here. We were talking about slugging for your lips. Okay. I am definitely going to have to look up uh, some of Charlotte's videos here. Liz, I'm so glad you're here tonight. All right. I'm going to take a little drink of my... It's, it's not a keep beauty real live if I'm not drinking caffeinated water at seven o'clock at night. By the way, this is the Good and Gather, so the Target brand Blackberry Mandarin sparkling water. Super good. Super yummy. Hey, Steffi. <laughs> Thank you for coming on in. All right. So should we do one more? I don't even know how long it's been. We'll go ahead and do one more. Uh, let's see here. So uh, someone had asked tips about ho managing holiday stress. Okay, so as a hairdresser who works around the holidays, I feel like I have a good amount of stress this time of year. Uh, I'm usually working 12-hour days pretty much uh, five days a week, if not six. Um, the, the one blessing is in a average world when I'm also working for Paul Mitchell, the holidays are the time that salons and hairdressers are like just too busy to want education. So usually that slows down a little bit in the month of December. Otherwise I would be working six days a week. Uh, but it's a lot of work. And of course you throw on that, like the family stress, some of those feelings that can arise, a lot of that, we are all coping with a lot around the holidays. I have to say for me, um, it's finding little moments of quiet and peace throughout the holiday season because at work it's hustle and bustle. I mean, I, I love, I am so blessed to be able to have such amazing clients that I can talk to and you know, all of that, but it is a very social experience the entire time. It's like talk, 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 talk. So I like to have moments of solitude where I can just like listen to some quiet music or maybe listen to an audiobook. Uh, you know, something that's a little bit a little bit of an escape from the hustle and bustle of it all. I also find that I have just really tried to simplify the holiday experience. You know, um Jeremy and I usually don't give each other gifts um on the regular. What we usually do is maybe we try to do an experience and that is truly something that I started um for my nieces who are oh my gosh, now they're like two of them were teenagers. That's just insane. But for my nieces, when they were younger, I stopped doing gifts and started doing experiences because the last thing that they needed was another present to open. It was just like over, it was like sensory overload, but they just remember. I mean, they probably don't remember the little toy that I gave them when they were seven, but they still remember the time that I took them to get their nails done. Or we went to like one of those like uh, bouncy house, like trampoline parks together, you know? So like, those are the things that I like to do. And so that cuts down on the shopping and gift giving and wrapping and all of that. So I have just found that like less is more and trying to get things done before holiday crunch time, especially for me, because I know the week leading up to like Christmas and New Year's is usually crazy busy for me. So for me, it's all about like finding those moments of a little peace and also just keeping it simple. I think 
and especially for me, you know, I'm a Virgo. I like things done pretty precisely and exact. And I love hosting. And I feel like everything just needs to be like so perfect. But at the end of the day, it's our internal system that is like putting all of that stress on us. Usually, usually. So I find that like, if we can learn to just like dial that back and that expectation back a little bit, um, usually it's us that's causing, <laughs> causing our own stress. So that for me is, is something that I have definitely found like simplifies things. Um, I will also say that Jeremy is really good at that. He is good at like making me chill the F out. <laughs> like, babe, it's not a big deal. Like he is definitely, I'm not one, like if a, if a wrench gets thrown in the works, I don't, I don't usually roll with the punches and he is very good at that. And he can kind of like calm me down, center me a little bit. So I'm very lucky to have him by my side. Yes. Uh, experiences really are the way to go. And yeah, they, they loved it. I mean, now I feel like they're getting to the age where they want to like hang out with their friends and, you know, it's really hard to get time with them. But if anything, then I usually like try to like get a game or something like that. So Eden, you're super busy for work. What do you do? Uh, oh, everybody's doing Aquaphor love. Okay. I love that. Uh, okay. So I am going to grab this bowl. Pray for me. Oh, okay. Think good thoughts. I'm grabbing this bowl of water. And so I'm going to take, um, I actually have these little like microfiber towels that I use. Hey, Melly, you are not late. There's no such thing as being late for a live unless it's me being late to my own life. And you're just about to see me wipe my mask off my face. <laughs> so I'm just going to take this microfiber cloth. This is like super soft. And I got these on Amazon. And the nice thing about these is they are so, so soft. And they came in like a pack of 10. So I can use these once. I usually hang them to air dry them and then just like toss them in the wash. Or sometimes um, if I'm not using them to like wash something off, like if I'm just using it to dry my face, I'll go ahead and use it a few times. But it's nice because then I don't feel like the towel is getting like really musty. Um, and I'm just like keeping a good bacteria free situation on my face. So I would love to know, um, I saw that people were talking about masking in here. Does anyone have a favorite mask that they really like to use? I think that masks are part results and part experience. You know, like I honestly think that I have a couple masks that are just like glorified lotion. <laughs> that I put on my face, but it's just that pampering indulgent moment that, um, I think usually, you know, is part of, <laughs> part of the experience. But, uh, I definitely feel like this, um, fat glow facial, like it, I personally feel like I look glowier and it's not, it's not like crazy tingly. So the PHAs are going to be really gentle. Oh, Eden, you work in a bank. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So always busy for sure. Oh, hey, Maria. Oh, my gosh. I was just watching your um, your redecoration video. <sighs> that room looks beautiful. I'm telling you. I, I keep meaning to show Jeremy. I was going to show him today, and we just didn't get much time together yet. But I was going to show him that view and be like, well, when we go to New Zealand, um, I'm going to come visit, and we're going we're gonna to see that view in person. And, yes, I'm totally inviting myself to your house also so that I can pet Solomon. Okay, so now we have that facial off facial. Now we have that uh, mask off. And then now we're going to go in with the good stuff. We're going to start the treatments and the serums and all of the things that I like to do at night. So first, what I'm going to do, I am not a good person at toning my face. Like, I honestly just, I just don't find that it's something that I really need to do. I don't know, but I do like my skin to be a little bit damp when I go through with my skincare. So I have a couple mists here that I've been using. Um, I still have a coconut rose toner from Kopari. I don't think that they make this anymore, but I did really enjoy it. I've also been using the Chantecai Eau de Rose de Mai water. I like this one as well. The scent is really nice. And for me, these just really help like rehydrate the skin, start that like prep of the skin to add all of my serums on. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through with the Kopari one just because I'm trying to use it up, I'm telling you. Uh, this this should have been a skincare over 40. Also, I need to use all this crap up, but I don't think I could have fit that long of a title. So 
I love the sprayer on this. I'm seriously considering like once this is gone, still keeping this sprayer because it is really nice. It just has like a nice wide, but like light spritz to it. I really like it. So I'm going to let that sit for a moment. And then usually at night, like I said, is where I load up all of my like actives. Well, most of my actives. So at night, I usually rotate between a few things. I'll either do an acid treatment. So like an exfoliating acid treatment or my retinol, or I give myself like a day of rest, a recuperation day where I'm just like loading on hydration and like other serums that I just can't find a time to like spread into the mix. Is, is there anybody else that gets this complicated with their skincare? I just find like, I don't like layering too many things. So because I did just do an exfoliating mask, I'm not going to do uh, my exfoliating or my retinol tonight because usually on the nights that I exfoliate, I don't go through with my retinol, but I do have a prescription retinol, um, tretinoin. So this is a 0.1%. I am very highly considering, um, I actually have another full bottle of the 0.1%, but I might actually like step back a little bit. I was at 0.05 and the last time I got my prescription, I asked if I could like bump up to 0.1. And she's like, yep, you're ready for that. And now I just feel like, oh my gosh, maybe I'm not ready for that. So it, it just seems like it's like a little more than I need for my skin. So on the nights that I am going to be doing my acid treatment, I have two products that I really like. Uh, I really still enjoy the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. This is a really nice one. So this has uh, lactic acid and it really helps give you that little like exfoliation treatment. I find that if I am getting a little extra texture on my skin, I'm just noticing that it's a little bit dull. Usually I find it's because I've been skipping on my acid treatment. The other treatment that I really like that I feel is honestly a little bit more gentle than this. So if you aren't using like an AHA, BHA yet, I would recommend trying the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow. That one is so nice. It's hydrating and it's not quite as like intense as the Good Jeans. But right now, um, again, I have, I have this one that I'm going through. I do also have a pharmacy to get through. I'm just going to check. I see that there are some questions here. Yeah, so Melly, you like layering, but you do an active, then soothing, active moisture, active and growth factors. All right, so you do like the layering with the buffers. Yeah, absolutely. Um, a Trixel. No, Stephen, I haven't. I'm going to have to investigate a little bit more. Oh, my God. <sighs> Thinking about adding one more thing in. Shoot me. <laughs> I mean, don't really shoot me. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and put um, some of this good jeans on. So... I'm going to put this all over and I just use like, again, the places I'm going to avoid are right around. So I don't go above my cheekbone and I don't really try to get too close to my lips because I did definitely find out I was getting like a little like thinning. This area here is where I really try to focus on uh, because I get like a thickening of skin here and I get like some texture. So right here and then like right here is usually where I like to go through. <laughs> yeah. So Stephen, uh, this good jeans, it's, it's a, it's pretty intense. Like it is definitely, it's definitely not for like sensitive skin. And I know you are a, a sensitive skin friend. So the other thing that I like to do at this point is just on any areas that I have uh, breakouts, I like to go through with a uh, benzoyl peroxide product. So I'm going to go through with the Paula's Choice Daily Skin Clearing Treatment. And this one I just am going to put on like in the couple areas that I have spots, which luckily right now is not much. So I just have like one right here. And then my chin is kind of like doing some, some crazy stuff right now. So we are just going to like tap this in. And these are, again, the products that I tend to reach for in the winter time um, when my skin is a little bit more dry. I definitely change up the way that I apply and some of the things that I use um, more in the spring and summer. One of those things um, that I do want to talk about because I do pull it out every once in a while, but these Peter Thomas Roth Max Complexion 
correction pads. So these are a 2% salicylic acid and a 10% glycolic acid complex. So in the spring and summer, when I feel like I tend to get more breakouts, I will, in place of this, I will use this a couple nights a week, um, just because I find that this really helps like lower the inflammation of my breakouts and really helps clear my skin. But this time of year, I, I really need to like simmer down. So she does not come out this time of year. Hey, Kara, thank you so much for hopping on in. All right, so I am, oh, good luck with the boys. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's see. So let's go into another question. So I love this one. Um, my favorite holiday tradition. So I think I might have talked about this. I'm just gonna let this sit so we can chat while I let this sit. My favorite holiday tradition. So I think that I might have talked about this, but like I said, I don't do a ton of gifts, like personalized gifts in my family. Um, it used to be that I would do the experiences for my nieces um, and then I would do gifts for my parents. And then now I have sort of evolved into one year, I decided to do one of those Christmas saran wrap balls. Uh, most people I think have heard of this, but just a really quick lowdown. Traditionally, it's like you have one, bigger gift in the center. And then as you are wrapping it with saran wrap, you are adding other little gifts in and you rip the saran wrap occasionally and you like pat it down so that the people have to find where that saran wrap starts because it's very hard to find. And then you just kind of keep layering, layering, layering saran wrap, layering uh, gifts. And so I did that for my family one year, just for the heck of it, like threw in just some like random fun things, lip balms, hand lotions, uh, Advil, <laughs> like all sorts of stuff. And then I had one bigger gift in the center. I think I did like some scratch off tickets or whatever. And my family is very competitive. And so if you don't know the way that this goes, uh, one person starts and their job, they're trying to find where the saran wrap starts so that they can start unraveling the ball. Because as the ball unravels, whatever falls out, you get to keep but the person next to you is shaking dice trying to get doubles and once they get doubles the ball moves on to them and it keeps going around okay listen listen <laughs> my family is quite competitive like this gets crazy and it was so much fun the first year like everybody loved it i like i said i don't i don't tend to do gifts for my siblings so this was a way for me to gift my siblings their significant others and not have that stress of like picking a product for a single person. This is like usable stuff that anyone can use, right? I throw beef jerky in there. I throw like little travel nut packs, like whatever. And this, this game has gotten epic because every year Jeremy and I add a layer to what we do. So the one year we, we added poker chips in and then as those poker chips fall out, the people get to keep them. And then at the end, like the top two or three people who have the poker chips get to buy a small gift outside of the game. So like the three people that get done, the first person who has the lowest amount of poker chips, but is still a winner. So like third place gets to pick and unwrap a gift. And then the next person up gets to unwrap a gift and then they get to choose if they want to swap. And then the last person does the same. So it sort of becomes like a game in a game in a game. And then I have like little certificates in there for like steal a product from the player to your left or like exchange a product with the player to your right or like all of this fun stuff. So it gets crazy. Uh, I think my favorite is we started adding ping pong balls in and the ping pong balls can be anybody's. It's fair game and they're worth two poker chips. So my family, once they found that out, it's like once those things come out, those ping pong balls go flying and people race for them. My mother like dove across the table, uh, slip and slide style to grab one. Uh, yeah, it is. It is crazy. You know what? I will try to I will try to videotape some of this if I can this holiday season and I will put it somewhere in a video. I'll do like a little vlog moment or something. Um, but I love doing this. And my parents were like, we love this so much. Please don't buy us a gift anymore. Just put that money into the ball. So uh, I have a lot of fun shopping. I try to do, you know, some male gifts, some female gifts, some everybody can use it gifts. And this ball, it takes Jeremy and I hours, hours to wrap this baby, like probably two hours. And it is like as big as a beach ball. No joke. <laughs> I need help. I need help at the end. One person needs to lift the ball and one person needs to wrap the ball. Uh, so it's a lot of fun. I have to say, I do feel a little bit guilty over using saran wrap because Jeremy and I don't 
we don't we don't really believe in using saran wrap but uh since we don't use saran wrap all year round <laughs> this is the one time we do use it so yes i have heard regina i've heard of um people using oven mitts but i'm gonna tell you like in my family um it's hard enough because we tear it quite often we tear it quite often and i i feel like it works out okay um also i stopped having couples stand by each other you're not allowed to stand next to your significant other because like my sister-in-law would be trying to unwrap the ball and my brother would be next to her rolling the dice really slowly. I was like, oh no, that's cheating. So now couples have to like sit like scattered. So my family, I'm telling you, they're, they're like crazy. So that is definitely hands down my favorite holiday tradition. Um, I am very excited to be able to get back into that. Um, you know, last year it wasn't something that we did actually for the last two years, we haven't had a Christmas ball. So this year we're doing it. I'm really excited. All right. We've had this sitting on my fache for long enough. So now we're going to go through and, oh, the other thing that I did not mention is one of the things that I try to do on my off night is go through uh, with the buffet and copper peptides. So um, sometimes I will use an oil and then put this over the top, but usually I just try to have this like right on my naked skin. So this will be tomorrow is the uh, copper peptides. Got to get some peptides in your skincare. So now what I usually do is I add in a hydrator, an oil of some type before I go ahead and put a moisturizer over the top. So a few that I like here, um, of course, the ordinary swelling oil. I really like this. It's very simple. Uh, I also really like the rosehip pressed oil from Good Molecules. That I use when I'm feeling like a little bit more acneic because it tends to help with acne. Um, so this one is another great one. I also have the Cora Organics Noni Glow Face Oil. This, this for me right now has really been like helping. I feel like this is the richest, the most rich out of the oils. This is like a little like sample guy. Um, but this one is really nice. And I have this one that I'm using up. So this is the Biosan Squalane and Vitamin C Rose Oil. I love the smell of this. I love the smell of this. It is definitely an experience. I know we have Steven in here who is like a Biosance B, <laughs> uh, a, a total stand for Biosance. But aside from the, aside from the scent of it, I feel like I can get just as much benefits from the ordinary one. So I will enjoy using this. I love it. But once it's done, it will probably be done. So I'm going to go ahead and go through with the Cora Organics Noni Face Oil. Um, actually, uh, no, I am going to. Hold on. I'm like, I'm chatting and forgetting which order I go in. So I'm just going to put a couple drops of that into my hand. And I like to do an oil first uh, before like my regular hydrating moisturizer. So if you have never um, smelled like the noni fruit, it this oil isn't actually too bad, but some products that have noni in them can be a little less than pleasant. And this product I do like to get up closer to my eye area. And anything I use, I just try to like rub it right into my hands. And now um, I wouldn't normally, but, or I would normally, but I'm not right now, but the neck, do not forget the neck. Do not forget the neck. I need to start sleeping on my back more. I am a side sleeper most of the time. And I need to start sleeping on my back more because when I wake up, I'm starting to see those creases. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> 40 is not going to be the decade of decollete creases. I got to stop that. So we got to take care of the chest as well. All right. So the other part of my nighttime skincare routine that I absolutely have to do is using my Latisse. And I love Latisse. I know there are people who don't enjoy it, but I really don't have any problems with it. I do honestly notice that I get a little bit, if I use this every day, my eyelid does get a little bit darker and more red. It's not irritated. It just gets a little bit darker, but I have not had anything happen with my eye color. I haven't had any issues in that arena. Um, so this is something that I use. So what I do is I take one drop and I put it in the cap and then I take a clean uh, liner brush. I'm going to need a mirror. I'm going to need a mirror for this. So I take a clean liner brush and then I just run this right along my lash line. And so what I find um, works for me is I get super, super, super close, like almost like push liner. 
and I just use that along my lash line. And um, the thing with Latisse is, I can't remember what uh, they told me, but I think it's like you have to use it every day for 14 weeks or so. And then after that, you can kind of move down to a maintenance phase and use it every other day. So I honestly find if I use it every other day, maybe every third day, uh, I'm fine. If I go a while without using it, I definitely notice that I start shedding some lashes. Um, and then I just try to like use it every day for a while again. So, but usually every other day is fine. And then I don't really notice as much like uh, darkening of my eyelid. Yeah. So that is definitely something that is something that I have to have and use. I really find that Latisse has really helped me just get longer lashes. Uh, sometimes I will also like put it through my brows. So something like, like Latisse or the Rodan and Fields one or uh, the Grande Lash Serum, what those products do is they extend the antigen and the catagen phases of your hair cycle. So your hair grows in three cycles. You have antigen, catagen, and telogen. So uh, the antigen is like the growth phase. The catagen is the resting phase. So your hair is just like chilling out and the telogen is the shedding of that hair. So products like Latisse help extend the life cycle of those first two phases so that you are able to have a longer uh, growth phase and resting phase before your lashes shed. So it's the same with... Um, a lot of the like hair serum serums that aren't hormone induced, hormone induced, not hormone induced, that aren't hormone uh, ingredients. So it's just to help elongate that growth phase. So that's why if you stop using it, you're going to notice that your lashes are going to shed a little bit. They don't really make your lashes thicker. It doesn't really uh, add lashes. It's not going to bring dormant lash follicles out of hiding. Um, it will just help like what you have stay longer, if that makes any sense. So that's my thing on lash serums. All right. So now that we have that on, we'll let this oil sit here and we'll have an, have another Q and A session. So, um, all right. So we might as well go with this one since we're kind of talking about hair. So what's something that I wish more people did to care for their hair? So I right away, Right away, I wish that more people used a heat protectant if they heat style their hair. I think that that is something uh, that a lot of people forego. So you should have a heat protectant if you are blow drying your hair, if you are curling, smoothing, hot roller, whatever. You should have a heat protectant in your life, hands down. Um, the other thing, and I'm not going to just stop with one, sorry, but <laughs> the other thing is that uh, people wash their hair way too much. Like, especially, I feel like there's something in American culture that it's like weird to not wash your hair every day. And it's totally cool, y'all. Like, uh, I think everybody could go every other day at least. And there are people like me, depending on your hair texture, but I go six to eight days between washes. Uh, that is definitely something. The other thing is... I, I'm going to have a couple others, I know, but uh, maybe not taking for granted the shampoo and conditioner that they use. I feel like there are people who are willing to invest a bit more into styling aids and then they like skimp on the shampoo and the conditioner. But if you think about it, shampoo and conditioner is like the foundation of your hair house, right? The styling products are like your studs, but the shampoo and the conditioner is the, is the foundation of the house. So those are some things for me. Uh, so I want to just check into the comments here and I see Steven talking about being a biosense addict. So, okay. So that's good to know, Steven. It's good to know that you have a few things that you really like, uh, but that, you know, it's not a, it's not an end all be all brand for you. Okay. So Lisa. Oh, so this, the, um, Lisa, you're talking about the vitamin C rose oil. I, it, it just smells like rose to me. Like it, it smells like a natural rose. But if you don't like rose, like obviously that's definitely not going to be good. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> so Stephen, you'll have to get back to us on how your mom 
likes that serum. I haven't tried that one. Uh, so Eden. Okay. So Eden's asking about uh, a great heat protectant. So I am obviously biased. Um, I really love, so there are two that I really enjoy. If you are using it on dry hair and it's an ironing spray, I really love Hot Off the Press from Paul Mitchell. It is my favorite and I can't live without it. If you are someone that has coarse hair, maybe drier hair, the um, Paul Mitchell NeuroCare spray, it's actually called Protect, so NeuroProtect, that's another nice one. It gives a little bit more luster to the hair, but it doesn't have as much hold. So it's sort of like the Goldilocks moment. You know, like what, what firmness of bed do you want, Goldilocks? So it's hard to say for each person's hair type. Those are two of my favorite heat protected sprays. Um, yeah, those two right off the bat are something that I love. And actually, like the, the whole neuro line from Paul Mitchell has heat protected built in straight from the shampoo and conditioner and all the way through the styling aid. So there's a lot of great products within that line. But Hot Off the Press Baby is my heat protectant styling spray forever and ever. Amen. Jamila, hello, girl. Thank you for hopping in. All right. So, yes, my hair house. So, so I use this one a lot when I'm teaching classes and talking about, like, the hair house. You got to have a good foundation. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Maria, for sure. With your curly hair, like, definitely, like, less washing. Less washing is more. Oh, the night cream. Okay, Lisa, I have not tried the Biosans night cream. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Okay, Lisa, I actually got a sample of this. So to me, that night cream, it smells like apricot pit. It, it totally does. And every, because I have that little sample and I use it every now and again. And every once in a while, I'm like, I take it out and it just smells like slightly rotting fruit because of that like apricot pit smell. And I know... I know that it's not gone bad, but it has that smell. So yeah, I, I definitely, I don't love the smell of that at all. Bye, Steven. Thank you so much. <laughs> it was, it was great to have you hop on. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. Eden. Great. Like definitely. I, I love it so much. Okay. So last skincare item. So I have a couple to talk about two that I've been using. Um, the number one is my ride or die. And this is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. So this baby, this is a big tub. This is a big tub. And I saved my very last application for this live because I love this cream. It is a no frills cream, but it is loaded with great ingredients. This does have squalane in it as well. Uh, you also have some other really great ingredients that for some reason, I don't know why it's not on this one. Let me see. Mm, yep. It in. Uh, it just says that it helps reduce moisture loss. I know that I've known some of the ingredients in the past, but it has uh, glycerin, which is another great one that's helpful. And I just, I just like this. It's just a very simple, great hydrator. That is going to be what we use tonight. This other one that I've been using up, we're talking about like very varying ends of the spectrum. <laughs> so we have the Kiehl's one. And then I have this Augustinus Botter, uh, the rich cream. So this was like everybody's craziness uh, on like Instagram, on social media, this baby is very pricey. And I was actually gifted this and uh, from the brand and influencer. And I will say, I like this. It does feel rich, but I honestly like the feel of this one better. This is really nice. It has a very interesting texture to it, but I like this better. And this is like a fourth of the price. So I will definitely use this guy up. He makes me feel bougie. I like the packaging, but I still love the uh, Kiehl's better. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this on. So I, I just find that a little goes a long way with this. And this is one that I feel really confident in just throwing right over my lips. So this I actually put on right up to my eyelids. So I usually let my lash serum absorb and I just get this all over. So I definitely have you know, a few moisturizers that I like, but this ultra facial cream just seems to be the one that I go back to when I know that I need something that's soothing, that is just a no frills, great moisture barrier. It's going to help give me some extra hydration and kind of like lock everything in. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of that over my lips and I don't use an eye cream. I just don't find that maybe if you have a beautiful um, if you have a beautiful eye cream that you feel like makes a difference as opposed to like some of the other great moisturizers, let me know in the comments. Um, cause I would love to know that. 
but I just find that I don't need an eye cream um, if I'm keeping keeping track of my skincare and doing other good things and using a great hydrator. But if you are team eye cream, let me know. All right, so one thing that I want to go into right now, by the way, is talking about comments. Uh, Y'all should leave a comment because I have a little giveaway that I'm going to be doing tonight. And the last giveaway was only open to people who were in the live, but I'm actually going to open this up to everybody. But if you would like to live this little skincare goodie pack, uh, you just have to go ahead and leave a star in the comments here. So if you're in the live chat, just leave a star and then um, a way for me to get a hold of you. Now I have heard now that it's like, if you use the little at symbol, uh, YouTube is like kicking out comments. I don't think that would happen in the live chat, but if you are here watching in the replay, uh, just use the word Instagram so that I can get your handle. Or of course you can leave your email as well. Um, but don't get, don't get booted out of, out of the drawing. So I feel like I have a hair. Hold on, please stand by live, live streaming with a hair in the face. Okay. I think I just blew it off. So I'm going to tell you what's in this fresh kit so that people can join the the giveaway here. And again, this is open to everybody who's in the live chat and everybody who is watching afterwards. I will go ahead and uh, pick a winner this weekend. So on what is today? Yeah. So today is Monday. So this weekend, Saturday. Oh my gosh. So I actually have some fresh products and some Kiehl's products in here. So uh, we have the Kiehl's Calendula Deep Cleansing Face Wash. We have the Kiehl's uh, Herbal Extract Toner and the Kiehl's Powerful Strength Line Reducing Concentrate. So gotta love some Kiehl's skincare. And then we have quite a few fresh goodies in here. So we have the Soy Face Cleanser. This is a great, very gentle face cleanser. Uh, we have the Black Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence. So another toner for you. And then this is a, this is one I haven't tried, the Black Tea Firming Corset Cream. And then we have a Fresh Sugar Rosé Lip Treatment. This is a little mini guy. Um, I actually have one of those over here in my drawer. So it's this size of the Fresh Rose Treatment. And then we have the Fresh Rose Face Mask. This is a mask that I actually really like. I feel like it's hydrating, it's very soothing, and it's just a sensorial experience with the little like rose petals in there. I am I'm a sucker for that mask, so I'm excited to share it with one of you. So this is just a little thank you for Merry Monday. I am, I'm trying to like have a little giveaway in each of these. So I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who is joining here. So don't forget a little star in the comments and this will go out to you. So again, this will be the drawer, the, the drawing. Wow. The drawing will close on Saturday and this way uh, everybody has some time to like jump in and enter. I will be honest, um, I'm going to try to get these out as soon as I can, but I also don't want to like flood the postal service with like pre-holiday packages. So I might just wait until the first of the year to send these out. I hope that that's okay, but I'm really excited. And this is open internationally. So you can win this set of skincare wherever you are in this world. Thank you from me to you. All right. So just want to check in on the comments here. <laughs> oh, Steven's talking about rotted fruit. It doesn't actually s smell like rotted fruit. Yes. So, um, I, I know Liz, I remember when you posted that info on Biosance and it was like, I just, I don't know. I, it's just not something that I need in my life. <laughs> uh, yes, Liz, uh, I will say, so I really like the cleanser, actually. I like the Augustinus Spotter cleanser. Uh, that's one that I've been using in the mornings. Um, it's It has a smaller price tag, though, than the than the rich cream, for sure. All right, so yes, I love seeing some stars in the comments. Oh, we've got some things. Hey, Mama Lynn, great to see you. Uh, happy holidays. I hope you and your pup are doing well. All right, so that was kind of it for the skincare. So I think I had a couple other questions that... Uh, people had asked. So the question came in, and this is a good one. This is kind of a deep one. So what do you do to afford yourself grace when there are so many people you want to be there for and support? And so I think knowing this person, um, and I don't know if they would want to say who they are, but knowing this person, I think that this is in regards to supporting people on social media, whether it's Instagram, uh, YouTube, and I think that if you are someone in the beauty community or you were just someone who 
uh, is a beauty enthusiast and you want to be able to support all the people you enjoy, it can be a lot. It can be a lot this time of year. I actually posted in my stories on Instagram about a little bit of the overwhelm that Vlogmas creates for me <laughs> because it's like, wow, videos every day from all of the people, all of the amazing people that I love, it, it just gets to be too much and I have to pick and choose. And there's a little bit of guilt there. Um, guilt for not doing Vlogmas, but also for not being able to watch every single person's content. And, you know, like also the holidays get super busy and we really are, boy, it's hard sometimes to even just like do more than like double tap a heart on someone's social media. And I think that, um, you know, also outside of the beauty sphere, we are wanting to spend time and support our family members, our loved ones, the people that we want to be close to. And it's, it's a lot and we can feel very spread thin. So I think that just knowing that you're doing your best and I think that people are so understanding. Like I think that people really understand that <sighs> there's a lot, there's a lot going on in the world right now um, and it can be really difficult. So as far as, <sighs> as far as like giving yourself grace for being there and supporting people, I think that sometimes we, undervalue just a simple hi, just a simple, hey, how's it going? You know, just a touching base and like a thinking of you. Um, so, you know, it's like I said before, I think we put those pressures on ourselves and just knowing that we are doing our best and that the people that care about you would never want you to be adding stress to your life um, by by feeling like you're not there for them in whatever way that is. If that's an in-person relationship, if that's an online relationship, you know, those things, um, just trying to, trying to not spread yourself too thin. So I guess that I didn't really like answer that. I guess that it's more just like, uh, Hey, I know I've been there and we are all doing our best in this world and it is hard to do it all. And I think that it's most important to take care of yourself first. So yourself should be number one on that list for mental health, for stress, and uh, you know, just taking some time to enjoy for yourself too. Oh, good, Lynn, I'm glad your pup is doing great. Yeah, uh, so uh, Jamila, like seriously, Vlogmas is is crazy. I, I don't think I could ever do it. I, I think people who do Vlogmas and are full-time content creators, like it's insane. So for those of us, who aren't, aren't full-time content creators. It's, it's crazy. Yes. I, I agree, Liz. I agree. And I think that, um, this is someone that probably doesn't, doesn't feel like they owe someone their time, but they, they probably want to give more time than what they have. Um, it's someone who's a very giving sweet person. And I think that, you know, we just run out, right. You, you have to be able to fill your own cup <laughs> before, before you can like pour over into someone else's glass, you know? So that is, that is definitely something that's very important. Okay. So, uh, there's another one on here, another question, but I think I want to save it. So I have really wanted Jeremy to come on and do a like couples Q and a at some point in the new year. And there's one on here. Somebody asked about, um, our, and I love it. Uh, they asked about our origins story. Um, and so I, I think, I think I might have talked a little bit about that in the fiance does my makeup challenge, maybe. Uh, I, by the way, if you haven't seen that video, it's hilarious. I have saved it because I love looking back on that, but I think I want to save that. So let me know if you would like to see Jeremy come on at some point for a Q and A. I would like to do that in the future. Maybe once the holiday season is over, like in the new year, um, I would love to do that. So that one will be coming in the future. There were a couple others that I will fit in in the future, but I wanted to try to keep these Merry Mondays to about an hour to an hour and a half. I know that we're kind of like getting in there. So I want to say that I've had a really great time getting to talk to all of you about some skincare. I love that everyone was dropping in their favorites and talking about some products. I'm definitely going to have to like go back up and in and do some screenshotting so I can look up a few of the things that people commented on. And uh, Liz, that whole like slugging for your lips. Yeah, I'm checking into that. That sounds weird and also amazing. So I'm going to look into it. Uh, does anybody else have anything that they want to hop in for those of you that are in here? Do you have like a favorite savior winter skincare, like must have product that we can share with people um, in the replay? Because I definitely know that I shared a couple of my favorites, but I'm really, I'm really trying to use up a lot of what I have. I have 
quite a bit of K-Beauty that I'm wanting to try. Um, I actually was lucky enough to get sent a box from Stylevana and from YesStyle. So um, my Stylevana video is going up on Thursday. I will be honest, um, there's that, that one is very sunscreen heavy, which I'm totally excited about because since uh, sunscreen should be a product we use all year round, winter, summer, every single day. But uh, that one I'm really excited. And then I have some Mia style products I'm trying out too amongst the products that I got in my advent calendar. So I'm definitely going to be using some of that and uh, trying to get through some of the things that I have open. Ooh, Eden. Okay. Yes. Uh, the, that ultra repair cream, I feel like is, have you tried the Kiehl's one? I feel like they are similar, but maybe the ultra repair cream is just like a tiny bit more rich perhaps like it just has a thicker feel to it. This one almost like, uh, it, I mean, I feel like I look definitely very hydrated, but I feel like it, it thins out a little bit more than the first aid beauty one does. I do love that one. All right. Maria from Nightstar beauty. Uh, Ooh, a hydrolyte moisturizer from Chanel. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, Jamila, I totally agree. I think that there are some great products at the drugstore. And honestly, like I am especially a proponent, a proponent. Nope. No, I love using, uh, lesser expensive cleansers because I feel like that's really where you can like definitely save some money because a cleanser is just on your skin for so long, as long as it's not like completely stripping your like moisture barrier, your acid mantle, you're doing good. Um, but I definitely think that, you know, you don't have to, to go above and beyond. Okay. So I tried, you have to tell me which one you use, because I tried the one that my friend Alana from altogether Alana liked. And I think it might be the one that Steven likes too. And it was like Cody. I felt like it still was on my skin when I was done. I did not like that. <laughs> uh, Eden, this Kiehl's one is the ultra facial cream. So they also have this, I saw, they also have this in a sunscreen form. I haven't tried that one, but that would be a good day cream. But the ultra facial cream is what I like to use at night. Okay, Regina, the Clarins Double Serum. Oh yeah, for the price you wish it wash your laundry. I get that. I have a couple of things that I'm like, uh, does this also make my thighs look smaller? Cause that's going to be, that's going to be needed at this price. So <clears throat> I have not ever used any Clarins. I've never used any Clarins. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. Liz, the face cleanser is meant to leave a layer behind, but so if it leaves a layer behind, how do I know that like my morning active is penetrating? I don't know. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> okay. So Maria, you use Nivea eye makeup remover. Oh, that's really, that's really interesting. Okay. So eye makeup remover is definitely one of those things like, and Nivea. So Nivea is one of those brands that I feel like has some, some good gems. That's really good to know. Oh, great. See, I love this. I love having this conversation. Thank you all so much. I, oh, not for you. Okay. It's not for you. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't love that either. So I just, I just love getting to sit and hang out with all of you. And I hope that you've enjoyed getting to hang out with me tonight. And I'm so excited. We didn't electrocute me. That's fantastic. That was probably the best part of tonight. My little bowl of water over here didn't electrocute me. So um, I am excited to dive more into skincare in the future with all of you. I will definitely be sharing some upcoming favorites, some things that I've been trying. Tonight, I wanted to stick to my tried and true products. I actually went back. I have a video from when I first started my YouTube channel of my like winter favorites. Some of them are still the same, um, but yeah, like I just find that when you find a product that you like for your skin, you usually stick to it. But I definitely have some that I've been like dabbling in a little bit and some that I've really been enjoying. But I, again, we're sticking to the products we know and love here. So thank you all for sharing with me this evening. Again, we will have one more Merry Monday. I think we still have one more. Uh, let me just check the calendar here. Yes. So we will have one more next Monday, the 20th, um, to be determined on the, on the night's 
uh, activities. I'm not quite sure yet, but I will again be here at 7 Central Standard Time, so I would love to have you hop in. It's been great getting to do this. Again, this for me was really just a place for us all to come and hang out for the holidays. So I appreciate you all so much. It means so much that you take some time out of your day to spend it with me. I know that I say this at the end of most of my videos, but it is true and heartfelt. Uh, this crazy wild YouTube ride has been nothing if it weren't for all of you. So thank you so much. Have a great night and I will see you really soon.